unlocking communication, to buzz someone in, explained. Hello, everyone. In today's video, we're diving into a very common but sometimes confusing English phrase, to buzz someone in. Whether you're navigating everyday conversations or enhancing your English skills, understanding these phrases can be incredibly useful. So, let's break it down together. The phrase, to buzz someone in, refers to the act of pressing a button or using an electronic system to unlock a door from a distance, allowing someone to enter a building or room. It's commonly used in the context of apartment buildings, offices, or secure areas where access is controlled electronically. The term, buzz, in this phrase comes from the sound that many intercoms or electronic door systems make when unlocking the door. This sound is a distinctive buzzing noise, which signals that the door is temporarily unlocked and can be opened. The phrase is widely used in both formal and informal settings, making it a versatile addition to your English vocabulary. To help you understand how to use, to buzz someone in, in everyday conversation, let's look at a few examples. Can you buzz me in? I'm standing outside the main entrance. I'll buzz you in when you arrive, so just let me know. The delivery person arrived, and I had to go downstairs to buzz them in. These sentences illustrate different scenarios where the phrase might be used, highlighting its practical application in daily communication. While, to buzz someone in, is the most common formulation, there are variations you might hear. For instance, buzzing in, as in, I'm buzzing in the guests now. Buzzed in, as in, she was buzzed in by the receptionist. These variations maintain the same basic meaning but adapt to different grammatical structures and contexts. Understanding phrases like, to buzz someone in, can significantly enhance your English communication skills, especially in real-life situations. We hope this video has shed light on this useful phrase and helped you feel more confident in using it. Remember, learning a language is all about discovering new ways to express yourself and connect with others. Keep practicing, and see you in our next video. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more English learning tips.